It's the season premiere of our 14th season of At Your Leisure, if you can believe it. And today, we are showing off the newest and fastest machine on the market, while giving you somewhere to explore as well. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Follow Chad and me as we discover a small town with plenty of beauty, adventure, and yes, golf. Then, Stephen Human previews an upcoming event that will bring out your patriotic side. And Terry Wood rides with the politicians. It's out on the links for the season premiere of At Your Leisure. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure today. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Stephen Human. And right now, we are in Roosevelt, Utah at the Roosevelt Municipal Golf Course. And we are going on a Duchesne County adventure today. Well, this is really an exciting event because, one, I don't get to golf very much, as Darren will uh, testify. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing for money, though. <laughs> you better win big, baby. <laughs> you, better, you better loan me some money, baby. <laughs> it ain't, ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to, we're going to cover different areas of the county and show you exactly what kind of a great weekend you can have in Roosevelt. A lot of people miss the fact that there are some really spectacular things in this part of Duchesne County. And you can have a real fun weekend. Just take a look at this golf course. 18 holes of beauty. And some of it challenging. In fact, I think we should find out what's going on out there. I think we should go to the kitty course, though. <laughs> <laughs> Roosevelt Golf Course was built back in the 70s on the front nine. It was originally an executive golf course. So you had nine holes, and it was a great golf course back then. But in the, in the 90s, they added the back nine. This is Kay from Roosevelt. And this beautiful lady, her husband, was instrumental in building this golf course. Yes, he was. He was. Um, especially the back nine. He designed the back nine, he and my son, on Thanksgiving Day. We ran a restaurant here in town, and the oil field was kind of down. And those guys were sitting around drinking coffee and saying, we've got a lot of equipment just sitting around. Let's go ahead and build that back nine. And they worked on the plan some more, and they built it. That's small town America. It Everybody is. It is. Gets together. And it they was. Make it, it was in Reader's Digest, the little town that could. I can't remember what year, but they wrote about it. <laughs> we planted all of the grass with a little Massey Ferguson tractor and an eight-foot uh, seed drill, and it was really a community project. That's huge. I don't think I can miss with that one. I like it. No. You are freaking natural! Now we're going to see what Rhea Rossi can do. That's, gonna, that's, that's got a chance. Oh, Rhea! That is just right from here to here. That was enjoyable. Steven? I, I get why people play golf. I, you know what? For a newbie, you, you've got great potential. Well, thank you. I'm never going to put money on a game with you, even after I get unrusty. <laughs> you did it. You, 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 you beat the crud out of that one, You have a natural instinct for this game. I, I was really well, impressed. Hit the tree. Woo! <laughs> All right, we got to go off to our to our travel adventure for our season premiere here, and it's a it's a little bit different story. We've got an event coming up, the Western Freedom Festival. You know, this is a this is just a celebration of what makes America America, and it's sponsored, of course, in Southern Utah, where patriotism runs really high, and it's a series of seminars and learning things that comes in front of an annual festival down in Cedar City, which is the the Sheep Festival, yeah. which we did last year, which was just a whole lot of fun. And so this is a chance to, you know, go get your patriotic pride all stirred up and then hang around for a couple of days for some just good old cowboy western fun. Let's take a closer look at it. All right. East is east and west is something completely different. It's a statement that is more true than many would care to admit. It's not just a difference in geography, but perspective, lifestyle, and worldview. Western values don't necessarily conform to Eastern ideals, and that's not a bad thing. 
for county commissioners and residents in the Rocky Mountain states, it's something to be celebrated. Well, for one, it's a way of life. It's a culture. It's a heritage. It's who we are. It's in our DNA. You know, my ancestors were ranchers in Garfield County. And there's so many people in Garfield County that don't even ranch today, that their ancestors were ranchers. They were that tough breed of people. And that's going away. That's why it's so important to remember who we are and where we come from. It's time that people become part of bringing back the true values of our Constitution of the United States. We've got to stand by that Constitution, not executive orders, and not non-governmental special interest groups. Pat in Washington's pockets, with uh, closing down our public lands. You know, we're not, we're not a bunch of, or, you know, off the wall crazy type commissioners. We're just passionate people that want to put those public lands back into the hands of the people of our country. In order to do just that, county commissioners from across the West have come together to put on the Western Freedom Festival, October 23rd in Cedar City. The event focuses on honoring the Western culture, heritage, and family values that mean so much to so many people. The day will be filled with educational learning opportunities presented by speakers from across the country, hitting on topics of constitutional law, recreation impacts and availability, and why public land access is the key feature of life in the West. As I walk out and draw a breath of this nice mountain air that we're, we're blessed to enjoy here in Southern Utah, it, it reminds me of how fortunate we are to be able to have access to our public lands to be able to visit and recreate and do the many wonderful things that we can. We can celebrate our faith heritage. They may not all be the same, but we have the freedom of celebrating any way that we want. Celebrate our country, our state, the counties and cities that we live in work with each other and collaborate so that we can protect them. This is an important thing. We're trying to preserve and protect the freedoms and heritage that, that is so valuable for all of us. The capstone of the event will be a live concert from country music star Daryl Worley. The Western Freedom Festival leads right into Cedar City's signature fall event, the Livestock and Heritage Festival, going on the same weekend. The two celebrations dovetail into one another as a true reminder of how important rural America is to the nation as a whole. We may get lost in urban landscapes and technology that tantalizes, forgetting where our power and food actually come from. If you enjoy fishing, if you enjoy hunting, if you're an ATV enthusiast, if you run cattle, if you're a former timber harvester, they're all gone now, but once that was part of the West, that was part of the Western culture. If you feel strongly that you're being locked out of public land and your, your rights are being taken away from you and you uh, believe that, that our way of life is something to preserve and fight for, show up on October 23rd because that's what this is about is Western freedom and our culture and all of our heritage and what we stand for. We live in a, in, a, in a country, in the most wonderful country in the world still, even with our problems and hiccups we've got. People have been, become so complacent in their day-to-day -day lives. They don't pay attention, they don't read, they don't study. We want to put the word out that this is our country and it's time that we stand together, united, and take back the principles in which it was found on just truly educate the people on how and what the principles was founded on in our great country. The Western Freedom Festival is taking place October 23rd in Cedar City and the next two days, the 24th and the 25th, is the Livestock and Heritage Festival. If you love freedom, if you love the rural West, this is where you're going to want to be on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of October for the Western Freedom Festival and the Livestock Festival. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, Darren Kinder has our product review, and it is the new Polaris 900 Turbo. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I think it's gonna be faster than this golf cart. See you in a minute. It's time to put away your boat and winterize it. I'm Corey Toon, Executive Boat and Yacht. We're your one-stop boat shop. If your husband hit the dock, you need fiberglass work, we can fix it. If your dog ate your upholstery, we'll fix it. One-stop boat shop, Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main.
mountainside trail. A day of speed that pushes your limits. A desert oasis that opens your horizons. A land of horsepower for every taste. Tooele County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. Hey folks, RJ Bailey for Stedman's Recreation. You know when it comes to your next purchase on an ATV or road bike, you don't have to have the blues. Come on out to Stedman's where they treat you like family. You'll get the best prices, the best service, and you'll have a friend for life where they got a full lineup of Polaris, Yamaha, and Honda. When you come out to Stedman's, you're not dealing with just salesmen, you're dealing with family. And when you come out here, they'll make you feel like family. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure, and our product review today is the brand new Polaris 1000 Turbo. And this bad boy is 144 horsepower, and it is absolutely a blast to drive. But what's really kind of going to be fun is that over the next few weeks, we're going to also be running the Can-Am 1000 Turbo, and we'll be running them head-to-head -head so you can see exactly how much fun these really are. Crazy sick fast. You, most of the time you have to keep your foot pounded in these things. Not with this. You gotta really work the throttle. Now with all this power, you have to have great suspension. And that's one thing Polaris does a very good job of. We've got the box podium shocks, two and a half inch diameter on these with 16 inches of travel. You've got double A arms on it, but one thing that you don't see very often is on the rotors, they've actually got drilled rotors on this thing and three calipers for your, for your pistons on this. So this thing could really break well. And one of the things you'll notice on this is that it actually has two radiators up here. They call it their dual cooling system. And it is really unique because that's actually the intercooler for the turbo. They put a pump system in the back that actually forces the coolant through there and it keeps the machine much cooler than it used to. Now in the back, they've gone to a three inch Fox Podium shock with 18 inches of travel. You've got a full length trailing arm on this so it really allows the wheel to fly around. They've also put a large diameter air intake for the clutch system in the belt. Coupled that with the frog skin on the air intake to keep it nice and clean and pump as much air in there as possible to really keep that belt cool. Now, one of the things I really like the Polaris has done is they've maintained a really large cargo box back here that you can put coolers in and, you know, your drinks, your supplies, all that kind of stuff. It's a great area to be able to tie stuff down. They've also put in this easy remove panel here that gives me access to my air filter, my spark plugs, my oil cap, stuff like that. So it makes it very accessible if I got to do some service to it. Now, if you'd like to check out one of these new Razor 1000s, Get into Weller Recreation up in Camas, and they also have the Can-Am 1000 Turbo, and so you can compare them head to head like we're gonna be doing over the next few weeks. Well, I'm Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. There are certain types of people out there who put everything to the test. For them, we built the Can-Am Maverick XDS with the first factory installed turbo. It delivers 121 horsepower, impressive suspension travel, and exclusive Fox shocks. It's engineered to ace any test, including yours. Can-Am. The ride says it all. Experience freedom and the lifestyle of rural America like never before in Cedar City, October 23rd with the Western Freedom Festival. Join us for an event that celebrates family values, public lands, good music, and the rights that have given us the opportunity to set our sights on the horizon. The crown jewel of the conference will be a live concert performed by country music star Daryl Worley. Freedom education and discussion sessions will allow participants to learn about and comment on the role of government, environmental policy, and the Constitution. Get more information and event tickets at westernfreedomfest.com. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. 
Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're out here in the Uana Basin at, in Roosevelt, and we're at the Grace Event Center, and this is a beautiful place. Oh my gosh, it's brand new, and it is lovely. I mean, you can have up to 500 people in this facility. Uh, basically, you can have weddings, you can... You could do a dog show, RV show, boat show, whatever you wanted. There's, it's a huge <laughs> building that's beautiful. Yeah. Brand and new. It is, and they have an upstairs, which is lovely, and you can have classes up there if you want. There's only a couple of private places here in Roosevelt to hold events and they're quite small and so we wanted to have a place where people could come and, and get together and, and just have a, a place where we could bring people together. We're going to have a black tie formal masquerade evening and it's going to be a very nice dinner and then we've got some um, really fun entertaining things after dinner. Plus, they have the Winterton Suites right here, so you have a great place to stay that you can walk right over to this event center as well, so. Yeah, it is so convenient. I mean, this is something that everybody probably doesn't even think that Roosevelt, Utah has it, but this is uptown and it is beautiful. Well, speaking of Roosevelt, let's go out and explore the rest of the town. Let's go. Well, the city of Roosevelt uh, was homesteaded by the uh, Harmstons. They came in 1905 and homesteaded the, uh, the town. I love the uh, ability to be able to, to be local with, with neighbors, friends. You can't travel many places without seeing, um, seeing somebody you know. You know, unlike a lot of places, those people that live in Roosevelt want to live here. It's not the biggest city. It doesn't have the biggest uh, retail space, but those that live here want to be here. Well, we're in the lobby of the beautiful Winterton Suites here in Roosevelt, Utah, and this is Tom and Melissa Winterton who own this incredible facility. This hotel is gorgeous. We built it, and then Melissa decorated it and picked all the colors. And... Hold on, I did a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Huge bed, and of course, my favorite, the big screen TV. Here's a laundry room. Amazing. Look how big this bathroom is and the pool cinches it. You know, between the event center and the hotel. Oh, oh, Paul, what are you doing? Oh, thank you, Chad. <laughs> Got all warm. Anyway, as I was saying, you can't rent a facility that's got all this stuff. You couldn't go in Salt Lake and rent a facility like this for your family reunion, but you come out to Duchesne, it's totally affordable. Yeah. All right, well, I want to swim some more. Or I'll let you swim and don't slash me anymore. <laughs> we need to go out to a trailhead eventually. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we, we actually are up to the legislative right. This is an annual event that Polaris has sponsored for a number of years where they get key Utah State legislators, get them out on the trail, they raise a little money to help people in crucial campaigns, and they also get a chance to talk about the importance of land access. A crisp mountaintop deep in autumn's embrace. You'd expect to find adventure, beauty, and maybe a challenge or two along the way. What you wouldn't expect to find is a lot of politicians. However, on this particular day in the hills outside the small Utah town of Indianola, there are more state senators and representatives than there are hunters and recreationists. Now this isn't a disputed trail or an area of any controversy whatsoever. In fact, there's no arguing or the bickering that one thinks of when a group of elected officials get together. Nope, today's about being outside, breathing the fresh air, and learning a thing or two about what the off-road lifestyle is all about. Today's ride is really about getting outside and showing legislators, other elected officials, what it is to get out and use these machines in, in their actual environment. There's a lot of misconception about, you know, these machines tear up land. What we want to do is we want to show how a managed trail system works for these legislators so that they understand that, for the most part, we're really conservationists. We come out here, we ride on the trails, we respect the land, and really getting them out there to see that experience firsthand is critically important. For OHV manufacturers like Polaris, these legislative rides can be instrumental in keeping public trails open. They aren't about selling machines or pushing agendas, 
But these events help dispel many of the negative stereotypes that have been perpetuated regarding off-road users and their machines. There's a ton of misconceptions when it comes to off-roading. I think that we, a lot of people think that we're just out here to tear up stuff, and that's not the case. We often have this tension between motorized and non-motorized groups, and what we find is that once we build those relationships with legislators and these other groups, and they realize what we're really about, we really are conservationists. We get out there, we build trails, we keep them up, we clean up litter, we really get out there and cherish the, cherish the outdoors. That's why we do this, we spend so much time out there. And really it's all about volunteers. At Polaris we, we spend $25 per vehicle that we sell to donate back to public lands and to ride clubs to keep trails open and to maintain them and keep them nice to me. So we're not ruining the environment or doing anything wrong, we're actually helping, we're actually putting back money in, into the trails and into the, the areas to make sure that we have a place to ride. The ride stops frequently, allowing officials to take time to enjoy views and discuss trail access issues. From up here, the world stretches out to the horizon, showing just how big the outdoors truly is. It's a view you can't get from the Senate floor or a government meeting. The hope is that the dialogue started today will continue all the way back into the halls of power, where the true image of the OHV community can come into focus. We're really lucky that we've got a very engaged legislature here and elected officials who themselves are outdoors people. They want to come out here and experience this sort of thing and have stories to bring back to their constituents about why it's important. And we're just grateful that everybody's taken time out of their schedule and we're going to have a, a really good attendance here today for this ride. Now normally at this time of the year you'd expect to find a politician on the campaign trail as opposed to an off-road trail. However, this ride may just help them get a new way of looking at motorized access to public lands. From the trailhead, I'm Terry Wood. The farmer awakes as night releases its grip on darkness. This will always be home. As farmers, we understand that there is beauty in this solitude, and we also know that there is power in working together. The Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. To this day, Farm Bureau is still providing insurance to Utah's hardworking farm families, as well as your family. Utah Farm Bureau members also enjoy other benefits of membership, with discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. Ray City is the only dealership I'll ever deal with. They're fair and they're not pushy. Every experience we've had with Ray City has been hassle-free. I enjoy when they come in and they let me know they're happy. And if they're not happy, I want to make them happy. I'm excited about it. I think we have a lot of inventory out there to show people. We've got some great employees. Ray City is the only place you need to go to get an RV. It's all new from the ground up. New rack system, new LED headlights and taillights, new chassis and new improved ergonomics. Introducing the all new Arctic Cat ATVs. Filthy, clean, fun. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, anytime you have a visit out to Duchesne County, you would be really wasting the trip if you didn't get outdoors and into the woods because the county on the north side is just full of them. We are actually out along the Uinta River and you can hear the river just over the bend there. And cascading down are a series of beaver ponds. So we're out on the hunt for furry little creatures with big teeth. And oh, <laughs> there's some. There's John, there is one. <laughs> No, we're in Uinta Canyon and it's really, really beautiful up here. So peaceful and just gorgeous. Okay, well, let's give people some ideas of things to come, Ria. Yeah, let's talk about our calendar of events. You heard us talk about it a little bit earlier. 
the Freedom Festival. Cedar City, it's coming up October 23rd. This is a celebration of all things patriotic about America. If you're the kind of guy that sees a flag boat go by, you get tears in your eyes and you cross your heart, this is the place for you to be. That's right, and the day after that, on October 24th and 25th, we've got the Cedar City Livestock and Heritage Festival. And if you guys have never been there, that is so much fun. There is so much to do. They have parades, they have big events, they got country music. And a million sheep walking down Main Street. That was <laughs> so fun to see that ocean of wool go by. <laughs> oh yeah, it was really a good time. So they're all in the same place, in the same window of time. You can get two for the price of one, Find out more, we've got a link on our website. Now we're gonna go over to Steve Human, and he's gonna show us who our AYL sticker winner is for season 14, and it's gonna be at Camp Chef Stowe. Thanks, Rhea. Our winner this week is Scott Willis, who sent us in some pictures of his razor with his AYL sticker proudly displayed. Like Rhea said, Scott, you are a winner of a Camp Chef stove, the best in the industry. Call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your stove. Now, let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, you can follow me, Darren Kinder, as I add another update to the AYL 4x4. What are we doing this time? You'll have to wait and see. From there, Chad, Rhea, and Steve are going to try their luck at wake surfing for the first time. It won't be pretty, but it'll probably be pretty funny. Finally, we'll find out how side-by-side -side rules may be changing. See you next week. Well, next week looks like a fine show. It, and this looks like a fine meal, too. Yeah. Indeed it does. Okay, so we've covered everything there is to do in Duchesne County as far as just coming out to Roosevelt, parking yourself for a couple of weekends. We got to golf, we got to hike, we got to, you know, check out some of the accommodations. They got a great convention and event center. So be thinking if you've got a group that needs to meet somewhere, oh. that there's this, this is a chance to do that. Absolutely. And then you stop at a place like the Frontier Grill. What do you guys all get? I got the, the cowboy sandwich. It's a mm. it's basically chicken fried steak on a sandwich, which I've never had. I love chicken fried steak, so I'm very excited to give this a try. Oh, look at these scones. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. There's honey on those. <laughs> Woo. This is a cowboy portion, too, which I'm really happy to see. Right here. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to see that. That'll be marvelous. <laughs> Well, we'd like to thank everybody here from uh, Duchesne County, from the golf course, obviously. Gary, thank you. From the city, thank you guys for being here. From the Frontier Grill, thank you for this wonderful spread. Yeah, Chris, this is beautiful. We appreciate it very much. And Irene and Ryan from the Chamber. You've all been great. You've been great hosts. You have a great audience. We thank you all for being with us. We'll look for you next week. And remember that in life, there's always an adventure, but you've got to go out and make it. So get out there and do something like, like come here. Let's eat now. All right. Let's eat. Later. <laughs> something else that's unique at the Winterton Suites is this cool barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Another really unique thing about the Winterton Suites is this. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say awesome, and then I saw the real. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now. Remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.